Hello people. So in our previous video, we saw a result of refraction, which was bending of light when it changed its medium. So the re refraction is when the, re the, when the medium changes and therefore its velocity changed and which, resu which resulted in bending. So in this video, we will see an another very interesting result of refraction, which is real and apparent depth. We call it real and apparent depth. How does it happen? We shall see. So I have got a uh, 5 rupee coin with me. Okay. And a glass, empty glass, and this one is filled. Now we'll put this 5 rupee coin in the glass, and you can see its height. Now I want you to notice its height. Okay. Its depth, or you can call it its depth. Now I will pour some water in this glass. And you will see, notice what happens. Notice how its height changes. Yeah. Notice something? It raised itself. So, it appears to be shifted towards the observer, towards the camera. Why does this happen? How does this happen? We shall see. So let me draw its diagram, okay? Let me draw the general diagram. So here is the interface of two media. Here is the source. Let's call this source S. And the source emits light. All lights get reflected by it. It is as good as it emits light. Now, light goes something like this. Now, if the light goes from an optically denser medium to a rare, optically rarer medium, it will bend and it will bend away from the normal. Right? That's rather obvious. So, it will bend away from the normal in this direction. And similarly, you can draw another ray. Yeah. This happens. Now, if we observe this, so here's our eye. We are observing this. The rays are diverging, and to the observer, it will look as if the rays are coming from a point. We find these points by drawing these rays backwards. So here's the apparent source this was the real source and to the observer it looked as if it was shifted a little above it's clear from the ray diagram this let us call this medium mu1 so it goes from 1 to medium 2 and medium 2 is optically uh, rarer than medium 1 now this height the actual depth or height, which you want to say, is known as the real height. Which, although it's written directly as real height, but I just call it HR. Just for now. And we can this depth or height below the water, below the interface. This is the apparent depth. So HA, we can call this HA. Okay. Now, this is our setup, and we need to find the relation between the heights and the refractive index. Now, we are not going to do a proof of this. We can do it using some uh, property called small angle approximation of trigonometric ratios. But let me give you the result just for now. We can prove use the proof in uh, another video. The result is that you take the re refractive index of the second medium, divide it by the refractive index of the first medium, okay, and this will be the ratio of apparent depth or apparent height below the surface to the real depth or real height below the surface, whichever you want. 
this relates mu2 this one mu1 first media and the apparent and real heights now another important thing is shift how much it shifts so clearly if this was our s this was let us say s dash it shifts by this amount we call this delta t that's how it's usually denoted and now we will calculate the shift and of course it's easy it's nothing but so a shift delta t is nothing but this height this distance hr minus h a real depth minus apparent depth clearly this is from diagram and what is apparent depth or apparent height below the water this ratio we can easily see this uh, using this ratio that h a will be nothing but h r into mu 2 by mu 1 now we will use this here in this equation okay h r minus let's substitute the values which are mu 2 minus mu 1 and you get can factor the h r h r 1 minus mu 2 upon mu 1 that's how much image shifts this is the formula for the shift now in many cases this height this height or depth whatever you want to call it is equivalent to a slab of this material how oh, because we are really concerned with all the rays which are going from medium 1 to the to a second medium so it's as good as here's the source okay and it's an, a slab of thickness of thickness hr is placed above it yeah because we aren't really concerned with the rays going downward or anywhere else but this height is hr okay and the medium is same so it's a slab of this media the refractive index will be same mu1 and this will be mu2 now since we are concerned with slabs uh, the property of slabs which is equivalent to our real depth is the thickness of the slab obviously this is the thickness so we are write thickness t of the slab so you might be given like the slab is placed on some letters and you need to calculate how much the letters are raised So if we can write hr t instead of hr we will get t thickness 1 minus mu2 upon mu1 that's our relationship between the shifts the refractive indices and the thickness of the slab or the depth now these are the general cases but more commonly our experiments and our questions there's an observer that's how we see like uh, real situations so this space this entire medium is air okay this is air and what is the refractive index of air so clearly this will be mu2 and it is 1.0003 we approximately say that okay it's as good as one in many cases we take the refractive index of air to be one I spoke it earlier now if our mu2 is one how will our equations change well, this will become let me write one instead of mu2 so one upon and this will become absolute refractive index of course mu we can call this just mu the apparent depth or the apparent height below the surface divided by the real depth which gives 
mu the refractive index is the ratio of real depth divided by apparent depth this is also a formula which you can use when a second medium is air or as a refractive index well that is vacuum and how will this formula change this will change as delta t is right one instead of mu 2 so thickness t 1 minus 1 upon mu that's how our equations will be formed so as a quick question let me give you a quick numerical very easy numerical so in an experiment the thickness or the depth the actual depth of the coin was let's say around uh, 7 6 cm okay so uh, it was 6 cm and the refractive index of water is again 1.33 we need to consider the refractive index of air as 1 okay and the question for you is what is what was the apparent depth that we saw and how much the image shifted Thanks for watching and I really hope you like this content.